Hey guys, so on today's episode I'm going to show you which breeds and which mixes you need to have a colorful egg basket. So the first one I always start off with is kind of a staple in everyone's flock and I'm sure everyone has them. It's Easter Eggers. And this is Henrietta, who is currently not happy with me right now. And she just lays a light blue egg. And they're known for their light pinks, so their light blues, light greens. But they're great birds if you're just starting out your flock because they come in a large range of colors. Um, they're great egg layers. They lay almost every day, at least mine has, and she's three to four years old, I think even older than that, and um, they have great personalities. So here's some Easter egg eggs from today, and Henrietta's egg is actually right by my thumb right here. None of the girls will go out unless there's hay in the ground when there's snow, so I have to apply a thin layer of hay every single time it snows so they come outside. So I have to do this on this side too now. Now that they're outside, I'm gonna go feed them so we can take a look at each breed. So, the next breed I would recommend is Marin's. Um, my favorite are black hopper, but they come in such a large variety of colors. Um, there's Wheaton, there's blue Wheaton, white, lavender, um, but definitely my, my favorite would be black hopper. And I keep Wheaton's, lavenders, and black hoppers. And this is actually a, a black hopper puller right here. And she uh, she's about five months old now, so she won't lay any eggs right now, obviously. Probably in about a month or so when the uh, weather warms up. But. I'm going to show you her eggs right now, or the color she will lay, hopefully. And so the cool thing about Marins is that um, they can lay a large range of colors. Not all will lay dark chocolate, so it's important to get from a reliable breeding stock. Um, some even lay um, really heavy bloomed eggs, so let me show you in one sec. Here's some uh, black copper Marins eggs I actually got today. Um, as you can see, some are two to three shades darker than the others, like this one. Um, this one's actually a pullet egg. so. As they get older, they'll um, gradually lighten throughout the season. Um, and this one actually has a heavy bloom on it. Um, so if you actually wash that with water, it'll um, appear dark like this one. Um, and remember, it's just important to note to get your birds from a reliable breeding stock because some hatchery birds um, lay very light brown eggs and people are disappointed by their expectations. So here's a black copper marine cockerel. He's about five months old. Some leakage on his chest. But um, these this breed gets pretty big, so um, and the temperament's not bad. They're not as friendly as Easter Eggers or Orpingtons. Um, and I, my some of my roosters do exhibit aggressive behavior, but for the most part, they're they're a docile breed. So this is another variety of Marins that I was talking about. Um, and mine tend to lay lighter browns, maybe a, a five on the Marin scale, as opposed to a six or a seven, but that really just depends on your line. And so this is a five month old pullet, and she'll also be laying soon. So in addition to the leg bars, I also added blue copper Marins this uh, year. And so this little guy is a cockerel, and he came from a really good line of uh, blue coppers so 
I'm gonna mix them with my black hoppers in a separate pen and I'll get 50 and 50 blue and black. So I actually just added a new breed this season. Um, and I do have other breeds that lay light blue eggs, like Americanas, and I have some mutts, like East Druggers, that lay light blue. But I don't think anything compares to leg bars. Um, and with that said, I think only certain lines of leg bars, just like only certain lines of Marins, lay the specific egg color that you want. So just do your research prior to just buying any leg bar on eBay or any leg bar that you see is being sold on some Facebook group because most likely they'll be light green or tinted and you'll be disappointed after they grow out. Um, so here is some, I want to say these are two month old um, leg bars. So here's a little cockerel. I think they're so pretty. Little head feathers they got going on. These are some Easter eggers too, growing out. Looks like that looks like a cockerel. Those are all Easter eggers as well. Let me see if I can find a female for you. So actually, here's a female. You can see the uh, color difference from the male right there in the back. A different pattern. So she's a little wet because of the snow today, so I'll put her inside. But these are uh, beautiful birds. And this line that I got, they should lay um, very blue eggs. So we'll see when spring comes around. And so besides putting some hay down when it snows, I also put a small coop in here a few months ago because everyone's a diva on this farm. This is broccoli. And they, they like to lay in here if they don't lay inside the big coop. They usually lay in here. And this is a black copper marin hen behind her if you can see. Excuse me. And this is the reason why I love broccoli. Always broccoli colored eggs. And we have a marins in here too. Thank you. So the next mix that everyone should have in their flock is olive eggers. Um, and they're fun to play around with the genetics and darkening the eggs or lightening the eggs depending on how you mix them. But um, they're definitely a necessity in every flock. So here's some eggs from today. I just collected broccoli's egg. Put these down in the hay so you can see them. So here's Brock's egg. Let's see if I can focus this. There we go. This is broccoli's egg. There we go. This is a fourth generation olive egger. And I think this is um, one of broccoli's, one of broccoli's offspring, so you can tell the eggs darkened quite a bit. So besides leg bars and Easter eggers, I like Americanas, and my favorite variety is Blue Wheaton, Wheaton. and here's some of the eggs from today. So I'm going to show you the birds. This is a Blue Wheaton Americana. I should have probably showed you them prior to giving them water, because now they look a little wet. <laughs> but they're very friendly birds. They're also great layers. Not her. And they lay very pretty blue eggs. If I was to get another variety of Americanas, it would definitely be either blue because I love blue lacing, or it would be black because the sheen and the feather quality on blackbirds is incredible compared to lavender or even blue eaten. So I'm going to put a list up of all the breeds and all the mixes and what they lay and which colors they lay just to summarize everything that we said here today so it's easier for you to look back on and now I'll show you the egg basket that I collected today so the greens are from the olive eggers the light greens and the light blues, those are from Easter Eggers. And these two blues right here are from Blue Wheat and Americanas. These chocolates and this heavy bloom is from Black Copper Marins. And then I only have one lavender orb, so she lays an off-white egg with speckles. And then this is a project I made that I actually forgot to show you her. Okay, so next video, I want to try and fix this up. It's actually just an abandoned red coop that I had. And it's all messed up because these things are cheap and fall apart. They're made of like fir wood. So hopefully I can fix it up, repaint it, and then make a new run for it and make it a brooder for next time.